So a lot of people are wondering, what is wrong with America? We're, we seem so uptight, angry, uh, road rage, everything, and I think I have the answer. We are not having enough pie. I think that um, our obsession with health food and uh, energy drinks has turned us all into raving lunatics. <laughs>So today we're going to test some cherry pies that you can get in the store as you go through the checkout line or way in the back in the, uh, uh, in the corner of the grocery store where they're hidden. Um, and, uh, and then we're going to see how they taste, what, um, what maybe that uh, we like about them, what we don't like about them, and uh, see which brand, if any, tastes any good. So let's get started. All right, we have various brands here. All right, we got JJ's, I said, Baker's Tree, Hostess, and then uh, this this is the only package that didn't come in um, in a small single serving was uh, Intamin's. Intamin's has six mini cherry snack pies. I don't know why anybody would want a mini snack pie, but uh, I guess they feel like that maybe that the low calorie conscious people uh, would like this. The only problem is, is that if you look back here, you're supposed to eat two pies. That's a serving, um, and it's 410 calories. And as I look at all these, 410 calories, 430 calories. Ooh, the hostess puts more sugar in theirs. And uh, what's this one here, 400. This is a diet one. What's the other one? Oh. Here's the one that looks more like the classic. This is a little Debbie. Um, of course, it has natural and artificial flavors. And it is, holy cow, 480 calories. Let's check the ounces. What is this? 4.4 uh, ounces for, and uh, 4.25, four ounces four ounces. So this here is bigger at 4.4. I guess that's why there's more calories. And what are these? These are, uh, oh my God, they're, they're mini pies. So I don't even know we need to worry about it because there's so many that they won't have any calories or anything in them. All right. Well, let's stop uh, messing around. Let's get into these and uh, see how they taste. First off, uh, I'm going to probably need a little drink of water or something. Um, Olivia, can you get me a little glass of water? Mm -hmm. So while Olivia is getting some water, um, let's uh, go ahead and, uh, and get these open. We're going to start with the uh, Hostess Cherry Fruit Pie. Are you guys excited? I am. Look at this. Looks so perfect. I think it's fried, not baked. Um, so we're going to cut into it. We're going to wait till Libby gets back with the water. She's taking a long time. The kitchen is right here. Okay, here we go. We're going to cut into the hostess first. Maybe we shouldn't start with hostess. Maybe we should start with this Aldi's. This is from Aldi's Baker's Treat. I'm really curious because this here was 49 cents. The hostess was a dollar nine. Everybody else was somewhere in the middle. This was the most expensive. 49 cents, a dollar nine. Let's open this one too. Whoa, whoa. There is definitely a difference here. Look at this. This kind of, kind of wobbles. This one does not. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. Okay, we're going to open up these two. Okay. Can you get to this, Livia? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I see cherries in there and the, and the filling, you know, the, the little cornstarchy filling or whatever. Let's read the ingredients of the hostess while we're looking at this. This has enriched flour, which has a whole bunch of stuff in it, which we won't go over. And then after that, there's sugar, cherry, cherry, not cherries, cherry. So there's only one cherry in here. Palm oil, water, glycerin, 
modified cornstarch, and then 2% of about 50 other ingredients. Okay? All right, now let's look at this one. There is no recognizable cherry in this pie. 49 cents, I'm beginning to think where they cut the corners. But we haven't tasted, so I think I'm gonna need a little napkin too. <laughs> Can you get me a napkin, Olivia? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I don't think we're coordinating colors here. We got red, whatever that is, my blue. All right, so I'm gonna taste, I gotta taste this because I'm really, was excited when I saw it only cost 49 cents, but now I, I'm not so excited anymore. Okay. Come here, Benji. I'm sorry, folks, but that is where that belongs. That isn't very good. I'm sorry, Aldi's. I'm sorry, uh, what is that? <clears throat> Baker's Treat. But you see this picture here? Okay, do you see that? Does that compare with that? I don't think so. I think that looks entirely deceiving. Okay. We're gonna cut for a second and then we'll be right back to taste the other ones. So the Baker's Treat, Baker's Treat, it's gone, okay? We're not going to even talk about that one anymore. And it's sad, but true. All right, let's take a bite of Hostess. Um, I don't taste any cherry. I'm serious, folks. There's no cherry flavor. It's just kind of a sweet, goopy thing. This is not going to go well. I can just tell. We're going to move right along, okay? Um, so, Hostess, I thought you were going to be the winner. You're what I remember from long ago, and I am disappointed. JJ's. JJ, again, it has that kind of droopy. I don't know if that's good or bad, but with the other. So here we go with JJ's. Um, again, it's just mush. I mean, I guess that would be okay if it tastes good. Ooh. I tasted a tiny bit of cherry in there. Not much, but a tiny bit. Cleanse the palate. It's like tasting fine wine, except we haven't got to anything fine yet. Okay, <clears throat> little Debbie. The, I think it's owned is a little Debbie owned by a hostess? I'm not sure. Maybe it's um, Swiss Miss. No, I don't remember. Anyway, look it up on the internet. That's what it's for. Okay, little little Debbie has a little bit of a different look to it. Certainly has a little bit more structure. It doesn't have that fold over look. It has a square. All right. It's redder. Boy, that's very red. Let's look at the ingredients real quick. Real quick. Artificial colors, red number 40, blue number one. Egg whites is the last ingredient, so it has more food coloring than egg whites in here. Okay, let's try it. Um, it tastes like Kool-Aid. You know, I pay my animal wranglers a lot of money, and uh, right now we're only keeping the dog away with these pies. All right, 
Okay, folks, we are down really to the last possible hope of something really tasty. And um, I'm not gonna lie, there's no ranking here. None of these pies so far, I would spend another dime on. I don't care if it's 49 cents or a dollar nine. And I hate to be that way, but I'm gonna tell you right now, don't go out and buy these. Well, okay, if you're really hungry, go ahead. But still, I don't think they taste like cherry pie. Maybe the other flavors are better, apple or chocolate or whatever. But let's try these fancy mini pies. Intamins. They're regularly priced $4.99. I got them on sale for $2.99 for six mini pies. Out of fleet, a lot of these were on sale. I wonder if that tells us something. Another very red. But where in the world are the cherries? I have not seen a cherry yet except for the hostess, and that wasn't. Look at. Do you see any cherry in there? In the picture, they have cherries here, but I guess, I don't know. Is there a cherry there? Zoom in on that, Olivia. Is that got a picture of a cherry? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's try it. Maybe it's delicious. Nope. 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 And nope. I'm not kidding, folks. This is not, you know, just trying to exaggerate. I mean, I love pie. When I was a kid and we had a birth I had a birthday, my mom would make me a pie instead of cake. I always, if I have a chance, get a piece of pie at the diner. But you know what? They don't have pie much anymore. And I think what's happened is, is that the quality of pie has gone down, 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 and people don't buy it anymore. Because if this is what they're tasting, which is nothing but sugar and gloop and cornstarch and food coloring, we've got a problem. Well, next week, we're going to solve that problem. We're going to make our own cherry pie, hand pie, fried pie, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's going to have real tart cherries. It's going to have a delicious consistency and flavor and crust, and it's going to be good. And it's going to be worth your time to make it because this isn't worth your time or money to buy. This is Roy with Cook with Roy. Hey, this is something different this week. And um, hope you've enjoyed the episode, learned something. What are your thoughts? Have you guys had any of these lately? Let me know down in the comments if you have. What do you think? Do you have a favorite flavor in your area or a brand that maybe isn't in the Midwest? Um, I've heard you know different places of the country have their own little uh, boutique bakeries and maybe they have an excellent choice there. So let me know in the comments. And, um, and please again, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. Really appreciate you stopping by. And um, I don't know. Anything else, Olivia? Okay. This is Roy. Have a great day. Bye. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Cook with Roy. Please join us next week for a new episode. We look forward to it, and thank you very much for your support.